I can't help it. What can I say? I'm an optimistic guy. You'll no longer be on the back roads of no, we can. You'll be on the highway of yes, we can, too. And then I've discovered when you've got a positive attitude, people always give you a warm response. Fuck off, man. See, now, I like to enlist the help of others. Yes, yes, of course, sir. Well, see, because, uh, because I'm a civilian, they needed to get your sort of tacit approval to involve me in the case <laughs> and bring out their instinctive spirit of cooperation. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Because, hey, my reward is in the people I meet, and then I'm always left with that good, warm feeling. Uh, uh, hey, man, that's not necessary. What did you do with the case? Uh, And I want to make something absolutely understood. I control the film, video, and book rights to this entire story. Crazy horse, man. Where are we going? You got the stuff? Yeah, I got the sample. But nobody gets to tongue it but the man. Come on. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey. What about my ride, man? We'll watch it. Well, you're gonna babysit my ride? Hey, you get ball. Yo, man, this is our turn. You wouldn't get that bean mobile in here unless we let you. No, no, no. Listen, let me tell you something, okay? You don't talk to Villas about turf. You know why? Because I've been in the big house, and in the big house, it ain't your turf. It's your time. Hey, you joke with us. This goes down hard. You want to see the man? We go to the man. to the chief. So talk. It's your party. You invited yourself, so talk to me. Yo, Crisco, where'd you get that cute dude? <laughs> I got it from somebody. Yeah. They had a nice mustache. I think it was your mother. <laughs> it's up to you. 
measure our ditch or make each other rich. You talk the talk. Do you walk the walk? Jackie Grimes got busted two days ago. Or maybe you heard. Biggest coke supplier in the state, but he's gonna be gone for a long time. So what do you think, crazy horse? Think around town there's gonna be some dry noses? Keep talking. We can supply 50 pounds a week of your favorite powder. Terms. 50K a key. Use bills and we deal with nobody but you. You make a lot of demand. Let me tell you something. I've been to the big house, okay? And in the big house, you can make demands when you ease demand. You may be hot stuff somewhere else, Crisco, but down here I'll be the man, and here's what I say. You go get me 20 pounds of pure Colombia. I like it, I pay you, we're in business. You don't show with the blow. We have a war dance, and roast your partner here. That's a lot of powder. 20 pounds? You said I could have 50 a week. You want to replace Grimes as my wholesale connection, you got to show me you can supply. Stink it, man. Hey, we're going to trade hostages. Leon. back here. Make sure you come back. My little brother. No, 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 no. Ese hermano suyo se cree que me va a coger a mí de bobo, pero la verdad que yo lo voy a agarrar a él. Ya va a ser Spanish. No, your brother. He's gonna be mine, man. You believe me. That's pretty mad, huh? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's messing around with the wrong guys, okay? Yeah, he sure seems scared about that. Huh. You want to get your stash? What's the matter? You think I'm going to show you where we hide it? I heard right, back if I was you 30 minutes. May as well going to eat that guy. Yo, yo, Migo, that leave me the keys. You got a bad radio on this thing. Yo, man, what's up? If east is east and west be west, I'm a bad gunslinger. I'm a bulletproof bear. Hey, Vilas, you gotta have this stuff back in an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. call me crazy, you can call me rude, but you best believe and you best beware. Freddy has come back. I'm a real nice man. <laughs> you better lock your window, better shut the door, because you won't believe what I've done before. Better... Young ladies, we're going to go to lunch in one second. Let me just talk to my town. Al, 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 listen, quick. Oh, what are all these emergency messages you're leaving on my machine? Hurry up. Hamburgers? No, no, not red meat. Okay, salad, tofu, I don't care, right. You mean the IRS wants an extension to audit me? Well, tell them no, Al, absolutely. What do you mean they can audit me from now on? If I don't get there in 10 minutes? Hey, hold on! I... No, I don't blame you, Al. I blame myself for using an accountant named Abacus Al, okay? Yeah, right. Turn up here. You sure? Yeah, suit yourself. Your friend ain't got much time. You better be straight up with me, Leon. Yeah, I am. This doesn't look right to me. What the hell's the matter with you? Hey! Get away from the car! Hey! Get away from the car! Get away from the car! Hey! Get out of the way, what's the matter?
Oye, muchacho, no me toques el carro que le pasa. Hey, come back here. St. Matthew's about four blocks straight up. All right. Oh, his neck seems okay. Doesn't seem to have any fractures, but there's some degree of cranial trauma. Cranial. A concussion, probably nothing too serious. Let's get a couple x-rays and admit him for a couple days. You're his father, his next of kin, guardian. No, 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 I don't know who he is. He just, he just bopped in my Who's car. going to pay for this? Right. Is he, is he insured? Yeah, yeah, he's got, uh, he's got spool man coverage, okay? I got everything here. I got, uh, I got master. Uh-huh. He's oh. oh, all right. Yeah, Leah, looks like he's going to be all right. The, uh, little kid's sleeping right now. And no identification on him at all? No, no, nothing. Uh, but get this, uh, a switchblade with a name on it. Leon Dokes. High fashion for the elegant delinquent. Listen, I'll get someone from the Department of Social Services down there right away. Uh, Carolyn, can we, can we not do that just yet, please? We've got to, Sonny. Hey, what's the matter? Listen, I know you feel bad about this, but obviously this wasn't your fault. Sonny? Huh? It's just this kid reminds me so much of me when I was his age. Carolyn, he was running from something. He was scared, and whether it's my fault or not, I, I don't want him to wake up with a cop and a, and a social worker here ready to put him in that reform school orphanage America round I was stuck in. Sonny. Just let me have a little time with him when he wakes up. I'll take care of it, and I'll file that accident report like you asked. Where is it? Where is it, man? Where's what, man? I'm not asking again. Everything you got is mine, and I'm taking everything that's yours. No. Briefcase is or where you want your body sent. You can't arrest me. All I did was take this here and pay for room, man. Man, what's with you, man? Ah! Uh -huh. Hey, that's unnecessary. What do you mean? 
did you do with the case? Briefcase? You brought the kid to the hospital. What did you do with the briefcase? Ah! Okay, man, seems like maybe when I hit him, uh, yeah, briefcase, it fell out of his hands. Maybe it went out of the bushes. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's in the bushes, man. Definitely. Ooh, that's who we is, man. Betty LaBamba. Hey, 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 hey. This fuzzy stuff would look good by my bathtub. But it looks like the actual owner of the hubcaps didn't show up. This is me. Is anywhere from Cologne? Hey, Chili, is that you? I just said it was me. Have you heard anything from Cologne? Nah, should we? I thought you and Cheap were together. Cheap Cologne? They call your partner Cheap Cologne? Yeah, we were together, but we split up for a couple hours on two separate leads. Do me a favor. If he calls in, buzz me. Hey, Chili, you hear the one about the two unidentified Mexican corpses? Jose and Hose B? Wow. Chili? Shut up! They call you Chili, man? Yeah, because I'm so cool. Oh, and they call your partner Cheap Cologne, but because he's so classy. Huh? You see this thing, wise guy? Yeah, man, cool, cool. I'm shutting up. <laughs> you got no sense of humor. Better see somebody about that. Nothing. It ain't here. It's got to be here, man. Cool it. The okay. kid took it. All banged up like that, man? I'm surprised he climbed out the hospital window. You think he beat us back here? Hey, man, you ain't tried to chase him. Hey, listen, what's in this briefcase, okay? It sounds important. Shut up. Police business. Hey, 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 okay, all right, this is going far enough. Look, man. Hey, Chili, chill out. Look, I could have taken these off 10 minutes ago. Now, doesn't that tell you something, man? Yeah, that tells me something. Come on, you got a problem, man. You got a big problem, okay? Okay, there's only one link between the kid right? and the briefcase, right. and that's you. And unless my luck gets better, I'm going to take out that pipe wrench and adjust your plate. Chili, plate. come here, Chili. <laughs> Chili, do you read me? <laughs> yeah. We just got an anonymous call saying the crazy horse lords had dumped a package in the alley at 34th and Vermont. Weren't you and Cheap working that gang? I'm rolling. Bobby! Oh, Bobby, please be alive. Bobby, talk to me, Bobby. Bobby. Bob. Bobby. Uh, Bob. Hey, Bobby. Talk to me. Hey, where come on, where were you? Where the hell were you? What? What? Don't worry about that. That's a long story, man. You're they alive. That's what's cops. important. Letting what? me live was the idea of a joke. You're starting to sound a little ungrateful. Ungrateful? Uh, I've been getting beat up all day. Listen to you, huh? I got shot trying to save your life. What are you talking shot? about? Shot? Shot? You call that shot? That's not shot. Give me a gun. I'll show you shot. What's the matter with you? Who's that? Oh, oh, that, that, that that's a guy I picked up. Listen, that's a peripheral matter. Come on, Bobby, let's peripheral go. Peripheral matter? What's a peripheral matter? Listen, Bobby, come on. Let's talk about this when we get to the undercover apartment. Come on, let's go. Yes, that's my sock. My super cushion. The ones you gave me for Christmas. The ones I couldn't find. Mm. Where were they? In the trunk of the car. Come on, Bobby. Let's go. Well, you used them? One time. What are you worried about? Mm. Come on. <coughs> what? You took the Grimes cocaine out of the evidence room and lost it? Took is not the right word. It's more like I borrowed it like a book from the library for the weekend. Gus. That's our whole case. That's our whole case against Jackie Grimes. What happened to the drugs, Gus? It got misplaced. Misplaced? Yeah. Leon, Doke's little brother, him and his pals, they ambushed me, man. A bunch of elementary school kids with Uzis. They shot me, man. It was an ugly scene. You should have seen it. Look, I got a hole in my thigh. Gus, what are we going to do? I don't know. Find Crazy Horse. Find Dokes. Find him. How are we going to find him? The guy comes and goes like a ghost. Find the kid. Huh? Find the kid. Find his little brother, Leon Dokes. You got an address? No, but I do have a name. If you get these chains off me, I'll give you an address within 60 seconds. Just hand me the telephone right over there, okay? So it's like uh, I can name that tune in one note, huh? That's right. All right, pal, name that tune, huh? Come on. 1 800 information. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, operator. May I have the uh, circulation department for Planets and Stars magazine? Now, the kid had a magazine, but it's not on the newsstands yet, so I figure he's got to be a subscriber, right? Because the address had peeled off. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hello, this Planet and Star magazine. My name is Leon Dokes. Listen, I done sent y'all my money. I ain't got no magazine, man. What's up with y'all? Well, what address you got? 
Right, right, okay. Now that's the problem. That's across the street. No, don't change it. I'm gonna go over there and slap that suck upside his head because I'm a Capricorn. That's right, here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Nine forty six A twenty second street, apartment number three one two. Looks deserted, man. Not many kids that live like that buy astronomy magazines, huh? Maybe it depends on your sign. Okay, let's get this little right. rug, man. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 you stay here, man. Uh-uh, I don't care what your interest no, come is. On, yeah, that's right, pal, all right? That private dick stuff doesn't cut any ice with us. Leave it to the pros. Pros. I wouldn't uh, presume to tell two professionals like hey, you. Hey, buzz hey. off, Lame, all right? I mean, you got lucky on the address thing, but that doesn't mean you get a bat in the big leagues. Arresting this kid is not going to do anything. That's it, Sonny, all right? I've had it with your chatter. You're out, the kid's going downtown. Now, one more word out of you, one more petty annoyance, and I'm going to bust you two for interfering with a police officer, all right? Hey, now, what does that tell you? Yeah, it, uh... I'll tell you something. <laughs> hey! Take me downtown and arrest me. Nice shot, man. You're under arrest, fool. Chili! Where you been? Yeah, we've been out there holding down the animals while you guys have been in here holding down stomach gas. You believe it? They still know how to find their way to the police station. Hey, anybody smell anything? Is it cheap cologne? Is it bad chili? No, no it's, it's the, the cheap and chili show. <laughs> Thank you. I need a booking sergeant down here. Hey, Leon, how you doing? When you didn't show up, some folks were wondering what happened to you. Don't worry, we'll get you out. Sonny, what are you doing here? Who are those guys over there? They're members of the Crazy Horse Lords. A after the Jackie Grimes bust, the streets are so dry of cocaine, the gangs are fighting over what little business there is out there right now. But we don't have enough to hold these guys. Okay, Mr. Private Detective Sonny Spoon. It appears that we've uh, juxtaposed ourselves against an impasse. What, what, what? The kid wouldn't talk to you? Oh, now that really surprises me that a tough street kid like that would not talk to you too. Pitiful Miami, my hey, hey, hey. style. All right, look, we're in a bit of a bind here. The drugs are gone that we uh, reallocated from the evidence room, and the uh, department gets a little uh, vexed. Yeah, vexed about such things. So well, what's that mean? You want me to help you explain it to your what? Look, Captain, look, we just want you to corroborate. Yeah, we want you to corroborate. We're willing to drop the assault charges in exchange for corroboration. You just help explain what happened, and I'm sure they'll understand. Okay. Well, uh, I 
I'll tell you what, man. Let's go, because you know what? Sonny Spoon has your back. All right? Right, fella. Oh, uh, Lieutenant, can we talk to you for a minute, sir? Look, I got a breakfast meeting. Is this going to take long? Uh, no, sir. No. Who's that? Uh, just an interested party, sir. You know, Detective Velas and I have been undercover for a long time, sir. Yeah. Well, you can say your screw-off's a part of your cover. <laughs> We've had some wild times, haven't we, sir? Wild times, huh? You mean when I wanted to put a bounty on you two and have you shot in the line of duty? <laughs> Remember that, Lieutenant? That was, uh... You know, it's true we've had our ups and downs, sir, but the one thing we've learned in having the opportunity to work with an administrator such as yourself is that every good leader must learn to accept compromise. I, I mean, in, in terms of results, in the real world, there are no unalloyed victories or defeats. Unalloyed what? Well, like, um... Like the Grimes bus. Yeah, yeah, like the Grimes oh, bus. Oh, the Grimes yeah. bus. That's what this is about. And you two want to pat on the back. Okay, that's fair enough. That case was the best piece of work this division has done in 10 years. <laughs> Lieutenant, your praise is too... Uh, it's too generous, sir. Yeah, too generous, sir. I mean, the drive's bus really wasn't that important. Not that important. I wouldn't have believed it, but you two guys are underestimating it, sir. No, 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 sir. You're being yeah. way too hey, kind. Hey, hey, that 20 pounds of coke up in the evidence room is more valuable than gold and platinum. I mean, of all the drugs that the tons of drugs that Grimes has brought into this city, that one stash of coke that you two guys busted him with is the one piece of felonious evidence that we can tie directly to Grimes. We got lucky, sir. You know, I mean, Grimes made a mistake. If we didn't get him this time, we would have got him the next. It was, uh... It's inevitable, sir. Yeah, it was inevitable, sir. That's, a, that's what it is, sir. You see, there's always a next time. That's what's important to remember. I am stunned by your modesty. I really, really am. You know, we just like to say something in the nature of... Uh, the hypothetical. The hypothetical, sir. Just suppose for a minute that after we busted Grimes, we figured, hey, we got the supplier. Why not roll up the whole distribution network, too? How would you do that? Oh, that's the easy part. You see, with Grimes in custody, uh, that would leave the streets dry and in need of product. Right? Now, Bobby and I, posed as the new suppliers, could suck in the guys that Grimes used to deal with. It's like killing both ends of the snake at once, sir, you see? Yeah, what if, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we had to borrow some evidence from the Grimes case to help us further enhance our success against Grimes? Which wasn't that big a success anyway, huh. because if we hadn't busted Grimes now, we'd bust him in the future. That's yeah? the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Paper to the evidence? What, this evidence? Chris blowing the biggest case that we... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you guys trying to tell me? Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Who is this again? Uh, I'm Sonny Spoon, sir, a private investigator. Now, I gotta tell you, this plan they put forth was really my idea. Uh, they told me it wasn't gonna work. Uh, I didn't believe it until now. You demonstrated to me that it wouldn't work. What is your connection to this? Uh, actually, your two detectives, fine detectives, uh, came to me with an entirely different plan. You see, they wanted to move on a gang leader named Crazy Horse Stokes. Now, it so happens that they have his little brother Leon right here in, in temporary custody. The plan was to arrest me on some totally trumped up charges like, I don't know, uh, assault on a police officer. And then put me in the same holding facility with the little kid, Leon. Now, me and him, we speak the same language, you know, yada da yada da. We rap, we're doing our homeboy thing, we're talking, and boom, I got the kid's confidence. Now, the little kid gets released, and I infiltrate his older brother's gang, right? Now, maybe this way, we can deal a hit to the distribution end of the drug problem, like your two fine detectives, Mr. Vilas and Mr. Clone here, dealt a hit to the supply side. You two guys thought of this, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yep. yes, of course. Sir. We'll see, because, uh, because I'm a civilian, they needed to get your sort of tacit approval to involve me in the case. <laughs> well, the idea about the kid's not bad. <sighs> Have at it. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Talk to me. Listen, 
I'm going to tell you something straight from me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You stay away from the drugs. Don't be running around the streets no more. You're going to have a much better chance of building up your muscularity and going through puberty. Okay, okay. How about church? When's the last time you been to church, huh? I was walking down the street one day, and I saw a little young brother with a big head, big knotty head, looked something like you. His name was Leon Dopes. And he said to me, Father Sonny Spoon, I don't believe there's no goodness in the world no more. I don't believe there's a man above. I don't believe there's nothing good with this world. How do you know there is? I said, well, uh, he said, well, have you ever seen a man above? I said, no. He said, well, have you ever, have you ever touched a man above? I said, no, no, I, I really haven't. He said, Father, have you ever, have you ever smelt the man above? I said, uh, well, no, Leon, I haven't. And I walked over to that little boy and I reached out and I pinched him on his ear. That's right, he said it. It's a funny thing you said it. He said, ow, just like that. And I said, Sonny, did you see that pain? He said, no. I said, did you talk to that pain? He said, no. I said, but you felt that pain, and that's how you know there's a man above, because you felt it, and that's how you know there's goodness in the world, and if you give up all that stupid stuff, hanging around with them bad dudes, you'll no longer be on the back roads of no, we can. You'll be on the highway of yes, we can, too. Okay, I'll break that for you. Your mama right here rapping to this Leon dude. I'm a rapper, he ain't listening, it's very rude. They're going to throw his butt in jail, going to put away the key. Come on, Leon, why don't you talk to me? Fuck off, man. You don't like my song? No. You hurt my feelings, man. I'm going to leave. Look, man, I've been here before. They don't put adults in with juvenile unless they think it's going to make the juvie say something. So you know all about being in jail, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm going to tell you something, man. You ripped off 20 pounds of cocaine. You ripped it off of cops, man. Yeah. Oh, cool. You're not scared of cops. You tough Leon, right? But you're scared of something. Man, the horse going to take care of me. Crazy horse, Stokes? You mean the guy that gets welfare mothers to adopt little kids so he can say that he's their bigger brother? Man, you don't know nothing, okay? Leon, I know you, man. I do. I've been there before, and I'm gonna tell you something. It's very hard to watch the stars when you're in prison, man. There are no astronomers in prison. Where are the drugs? Okay, okay, you wanna go back on the streets? How come your hands are shaking, man? I lost the briefcase. You what? I lost the briefcase. You didn't go back to the bushes and pick it up? Yeah, but when I went back, it wasn't there. You lost 20 pounds of cocaine. Man, no wonder you scared. Hey, man, it'd be okay. Man, Horse knew those two dudes were cops. Man, he set them up to rip them off. Man, it wasn't our part anyway. But, Leon, you think Crazy Horse is gonna believe that, man? Huh? What's he gonna tell the rest of the gang? You think they're gonna believe you lost 20 pounds of cocaine? Crazy horses here, you just get him rid of habeas corpus. You're not gonna get him over, right? He's also got some papers, says he's a legal guardian. I got no choice. Listen, you gotta do something, man. Arrest this guy. With what evidence? On what charge? They're gonna kill him. Leon's not gonna have the drugs, and to keep the gang from thinking he ripped him off like he did the cops, Crazy Horse is gonna kill him. Who are you? 
I'm the spoon man. I handle Grimes' distribution on the west side. And you're making a lot of people's lives on the west side very difficult, my brother. So how come I never heard of you before? Because I work very hard to keep it that way. I don't like publicity. Publicity is bad for business. Skates, it's cool. Wait for me outside. Now, this is a private matter. Step off, homie. Everybody on the streets right. knows that ever since Grimes got taken off, the cops have been coming down on everybody. But not everybody is stupid enough to mess with the cops and fail. Now, homeboy, I don't want to tell nobody their business, but you're making it difficult on all of us, man. Last night, they picked up the spoon man like a common criminal and tried to hold me just like the rest of your boys. I mean, this is a trial. The law of the Lord says private. Then I claim the right of challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Did anybody else see him take it? Who else? You had all those kids on bicycles, right? What if one of those kids saw Leon lose the briefcase? He'd still have it. He'd have it at home. He'd hide it. He'd wait till this was all blown over, and then he'd sell the dope. And y'all would have prosecuted the wrong man. Grab the Pee Wee. Where's Yo! All right, I'll cover this. This is personal. Y'all go home. Now! You heard the man! Yeah, man. What's up? Oh, Leon, my man, always knew you were righteous. I'm gonna make a visit down to Graceland. This, man. Yeah, but we way behind. Okay, we gotta get there before Crazy Horse does. Skate the fast metal wheels. Let's go. Okay, skates, hit it.
Oh, you disappointed me, Elvis. You betrayed us all, boy. Ah! Come on, man. Take a look there. Huh? You want to fly, boy? Huh? Why would you want to betray us, huh? Come on, man. Can I take you to lunch? Lunch? Something terrible is about to happen. Shut up! I said you were under arrest! For what? Murder! Stand up, Sonny Spoon, the brother of steel. I don't kill people. Sonny Spoon is an innocent man. Sonny, huh? you've got to get out of here right now. You're one of the most wanted men in the country. And they found your fingerprints all over the murder weapon. You look very familiar. Have you ever been to Rick's Bass House on Santa Monica Boulevard? Your time's running out, Sonny. You have to hurry. <laughs> I'm not so sure we're interested in plea bargaining. Hey, what's the matter? Your case feeling a little shaky five minutes before trial? Hey, what I want to talk is grim reality. We're looking at a trial that could take three months of my time and cost a fortune in the taxpayer's money. This is outrageous. I mean, I'm going to file counter charges. Not only is this a bogus arrest, but look at this. Look at this. Our position is that those wounds are self-inflicted. Self-inflicted? He took a pair of pliers and hung himself up by the nose? You think I'm stupid enough to blow this case? All right. We'll accept the year. Suspended. And a small fine. Try three years without parole and 100,000 in fines. Three years? Hey, that's the deal. Carolyn, Carolyn. Uh, Jeffrey, I'm writing a pretrial conference room. That's just that everybody's got a job to do here now except for me. Why, what happened? Judge Brooks fired me. Oh, judge no, Brooks. I'm yes. sorry. Right, Denise. I was oh. going to be the best judge's clerk, the best head clerk, the I best know. assistant DA. He fired me. His girlfriend's suing him for palimony. He fired me for spilling his coffee. My whole career gone with the wind. Oh, listen, Jeffrey, I'm sure he'll get over this in the morning. Oh, no. Just yesterday, he gave a guy six months for unpaid parking tickets. Oh, no. Listen, I'll make some time for you later, Jeffrey. Why don't you go out to the courtyard and pull yourself together? Now, you listen to me. I've got your client in a vice, and I'm going to squeeze him. He's going to do time for these charges, and you know it. We've got over 20 pounds of cocaine in the evidence room, and you've got a judge who's firing his clerks. Now, I'm just trying to save us all some trouble. But I gotta make this deal fly both ways. These cops here are furious with me for even talking a deal. They wanna see this sleaze ball on trial. So this is the closeout big sale. You tell your boy to take his medicine. But if you insult my good nature by trying to take me in there and beating me on my own turf, I will humiliate you. And I'm gonna hang you, Mr. Grimes, out to dry. Look, um... Could we uh, talk private, like? You guys wait outside. So it happens I have two tickets to the show at the planetarium. Well, I think that already. Hey, I'll go alone then. I guess I can see it again. Saturday night, the baseball action's live from L.A.'s Dodger Stadium. 
as power hitter Jose Canseco leads the Oakland Athletics against Mike Marshall and Kirk Gibson and the Dodger Ball Club. Marv Albert and Bob Costas host the pregame show with Vin Scully and Joe Garagiola bringing you the colorful play-by-play -play commentary. The World Series, only on NBC.